How do I how how do I use this thing? Like like this? Um just really nervous, you know. This is uh, a bit traumatic for me to talk about. Um yeah, my name's Aaron. I am I'm the youth pastor here at Catch the Fire. Yeah, uh it's it's been difficult. It, you know, if if I'm honest, my my self-esteem has definitely taken a hit and uh just really never been the same even, you know, when I I don't know, when I go to the beach, when I'm in the shower, when I'm in front of the mirror, when I'm, you know, just walking around the house. I'm sorry. Can we cut? Can we cut? I'm I'm sorry. Uh, we we can keep rolling. Just uh, you know, it was hard for me. Just maybe you know the way they would even chant my name walking around the camp, and we were playing this, um, this game during chapel and. Um, one of my leaders was uh, reading the lips of another youth, and he had these headphones on, making all these weird noises, so uh, so that he couldn't hear, uh, you know, what he was saying. He, his goal was to read the lips, and the the person I don't even remember who uh, sitting across from him was re- was trying to get him to understand and saying out loud, "Aaron Ninaber," and you know, I don't know, I don't know if you can get a close up on my my lips, but, um, Aaron Ninaber, for, for whatever reason, he, he was like, hairy nipples, and, uh, everyone started laughing, and I, I secretly snuck out to the bathroom, and kind of slunk down in the men's bathroom, and just let it all out, you know, it was hard. Ron. 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 I'm, I'm sorry, what was the question? Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I, uh, I tried a lot of things, trimming, and patches, waxing kind of landed on waxing, you know, to manage the pain that I felt on the inside. It was hard, you know, uh, definitely brings a lot of insecurity and, you know, I just thought like as a society we'd move past that, judging people, you know, because of their, their nipples and the amount of hair. No, more than my nipples for sure. It's definitely something that, you know, I've kind of been labeled for and people, have, you know, kind of identified, tried to make it my identity, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm more than that. I'm, I, I'm a human, human being and there's so much to me, more than just like two nipples and, and, the, and the amount of hair on them. Is it? I, I really hope not, you know, I, I'm, we're, we're quite sure Jude's fine, but, you know, we just don't know about Zoe. You know, she was born with a lot of hair and just hope she doesn't have, you know, ape-like nipples. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I never really thought about it, um, but now I am, so thanks for that. You know, I just wanna, I wanna thank you for this, this opportunity. You know, kind of shed light on on my story, and you know, maybe there's someone else out there, maybe someone in this room, and he needed hope and needed to know my story and know you're not alone. 
and um, you know you can you can actually go to uh, www.harrynipples.com and um, give there and help us find the cure. Thank you for your time. Thank you.